Hi, I'm Sudipong from EDA International, Thailand. Today I'm going to show you how to create simple SCADA on Visual Studio WPF with COBC DLL. Let's see. I have the OBC server and it, uh, there, are the, there are OBC tags K1, K2 and K3 in the KVAR V6. And I can control the OPC tag. For example, I type some value and then submit. K1 will change to 44 as I type in the text box and then submit on it. And the gauge show the value of uh, K1. This is the value of K2 and K3. This is the application created uh, from the WPF with the COPC DLL. How to create it? First, you need to download the COPC DLL demo for 30 days. I put a uh, download link in the video description. Open download folder, unzip, and then copy the COPC DLL to C drive. I put here. And then you need to register the DLL file. Open the CMD, then right click on it and run as administrator. Now go to the C drive and then rec SVR32 and COPC.DLL and then hit enter. After register the COPC DLL, create the new project on which one studio express on which one studio standard for desktop go to new project in this example i will use the which one c sharp and the bpf application type the name of the project and then ok now go to solution explorer and reference right click on reference Add reference. Add a com list. Search for COVC unlimited. Check it and then hit OK. Make sure that you have the CPC unlimited here. Go to the code view and then using CPC unlimited open the folder of COPC DLL that you have download you can see the menu get start help open it and then go to the section uh, 4.2 create the OPC DLL instance and connect to OPC server. Copy this code. Get back to the code. And then face here. After public partial class, we have created a COPC1 instance. Get back to the document and then copy the code and then face on main window delete this line of code and then retype it plus and equal you could see the tune tip cbc one that change press tab to insert then press on the tab uh, at the keyboard and then apply now it will create a, that change event here this event will invoke when the data of the obc tag has changed now you have to modify the OPC server name. For example, if you have the Cape Wire Cape Server EX V6, you have to rename it to V6. 
and the amount of OPC tag. For example, if you would like to connect to the OPC tag for 100 tags, you need to type 100 here. In this example, I will use 3 tags. And I will connect to the channel 1, device 1, and K0001. Then I have to uh, type the name channel 1 dot device 1 and dot K0001. Okay. Now I will connect to the next OPC tag, K2 and K3. Make sure that you have uh, the correct name of the OPC tag. Okay, now specify the update rate. In this example, I will use 100 milliseconds. At initial component, it will uh, connecting to the OPC server by this command copc1.connect. Then we need to disconnect when the main window is closing. Select the main window and then hit on the event handler. Double click on closing. Okay, now get back to document and copy this code. Uh, sorry, copy this code from section 4.5. Try to disconnect COPC1 from the OPC server. Okay, now we will display the value of, office of the OPC tags in the label. Get back to the main window and place the label. Okay. Then copy the uh, type the name of the label to the label one, and then copy and face the next one and the. The third one. Okay, now rename to level two and level three. Now we have the labels to display the value of, of the OPC text. Now I will put the uh, button and text box. Use for input from the user. Rename to text box 1 and button 1. You may want to edit text. For example, submit and delete the text in the text box. I will change the size of the text box. The text size. Okay. You may want to uh, install some WPF gauge from NuGet. I've used the circular gauge from NuGet. Okay, and then rename to gauge 1. Now get back to the code. In the event that change, this event will invoke when the data of the OPC tax has changed. Get back to the document. Add 4.5 display OPC tag value. Copy this code. And 
face here at that change event okay just you can see the label one need to change its property from text to content okay now we will show the value of OPC tag that has um, index number zero just you can see each OPC tag need the index number for example the first one has index number zero the next is one and the second is uh, sorry the third one is uh, two if you would like to specify uh, the amount of OPC tag for example as four tags and you need more tag here you can copy and paste the new OPC tag that you would like to connect to but in this example I have only three tags then I need to specify three here okay you may want the parameter uh, to work as the broker for example I create the variable as array VL here and then I use VL as the broker to keep the value of OBC tag VL0 the first one keep the value of OBC tag that has index number 0 and the next one VL1 and VL2 this will prevent the problem of uh, data bottleneck from OBC server data bottleneck may occur when you are reading OPC tag repeatedly then it is the good idea to use the variable as the broker and then use the label to show the value of VL Now we will show the value of VL in the gauge. Okay, now we display the value to the label and the gauge one. Next step, we will create a code to write value to the OPC tag from this button go to event handler and double click on click go to the document add topic 4.4 copy this code and face here okay now change the index number to zero because we will uh, put the put the data on t uh, of the text box one into the OPC tag that has the index number zero okay now save all please make sure that you have typing correct name of the OPC server and the channel name for example, in Cape Verde, it is 
the Kware Quick Client that show the uh, OPC server name and the channel name. In this example, I have typing incorrect name of the channel here. It will not connect to the channel. Then I have to correct the uh, channel name. Okay. Now start. Start testing. Okay. Now we connect to the OPC server. In a quick client, we can write the OPC tag. For example, I type uh, 45 and then apply. In the application, it will show the value of the OPC tag, the current value. And the gauge will show the current value of K12. If I submit some value, then K1 will change to the number that I have input to the text box. Now trying to test another text. Okay. Okay. This is the simple uh, application, the WPF, with the COPC DLL on Visual Studio. Thank you for watching.